हेलो एंड वेलकम टू नदर वीडियो तो आज की वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं आउट रीच इंटर्नशिप्स के बारे में अगर वीडियो को लाइक नहीं किया तो जाके लाइक कर दो अगर कमेंट नहीं किया तो जरूर जाके कमेंट कर दो फिर वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं आउट रीच इंटर्नशिप इज एन अमेजिंग प्रोग्राम थ्रू विच यू कैन गेट एन इंटर्नशिप फॉर दिस कमिंग विंटर एंड दे आर पेइंग यूर स्टाइप एंड वर्थ सिक्स थाउजेंड यू एस डॉलर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट्स गोइंग टू बी रिमोट इंटर्नशिप फ्रॉम दिसंबर टू मार्च एंड नाउ एवरी थिंग इज इन अ रिमोट सेटअप वर्क फ्रॉम होम इज गोइंग ऑन तो डेफिनेटली इट्स अ वेरी ग्रेट चांस फॉर यू टू लेवरेज दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड do an internship with outreachy complete details on what is the application procedure and how all things are going to be there in this program i have made a separate video some time back when you were probably not on this channel so i have uh, taken some of the amazing clips from that video on making your application better for this program so don't forget to watch this video till the end if you wish to apply for the same and talking about the eligibility and everything only female candidates are uh, eligible for this program also you can be from underrepresented groups like transgender or uh, maybe someone who has suffered underrepresentation at some point of time so those are eligible last year to apply is september 3 but don't forget to apply for the same if you want to have your good hands on over open source and get a stipend worth of 6000 so let's have a look at the video प्रोग्राम सिमिलर टू गूगल समर ऑफ कोड और आर जी सॉक एंड मेनी अदर सिमिलर सच प्रोग्राम एंड इट्स वन ऑफ द अमेजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन विच यूल बी गेटिंग इट्स इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ पेड इंटर्नशिप आई वुड से इन विच यूल बी गेटिंग a stipend that is very good and along with that you will be allowed to contribute to certain organizations and building some very cool awesome projects with the help of mentors. So this is an open source program in which you will get the actual feel of what open source is like and how you can get yourself into this program and how you can understand various technicalities of project building how how can it be a better software developer and like everything that you want to be as a good software developer So when you talk about this program like this program is basically a kind of uh, initiative in which lot of amazing companies uh, contribute to like uh, there'll be organizations like mozilla jboss fedora open define so these are some very good organization who pay you who allow you to work on their projects you will get some of the amazing uh, other benefits from these companies for example if you are selected for mozilla internship so uh you'll have the tag of at the rate mozilla.com you'll get that particular email id from mozilla you'll get a laptop that you can keep with you after the even after the internship and so the benefits are like uh, a lot more than i could even describe along with your good project building experience your uh, skills getting enhanced so everything you are going to get from this uh, amazing internship so we'll discuss about each and everything about this internship so now let's come on to one of the important aspects of this internship that is the paid internship so when when i talk about paid internship so uh, you basically wanted to know what is the stipend for this internship so when i talk about stipend it's close to 6000 us dollars when you convert these 6000 us dollars into indian currency so it's close to 4 lakh 35000 something so that is such a huge amount uh, out of the that this stipend like 5500 dollars you will be getting in cash and 500 dollars you will be getting some travel grant like you can go to any of the conferences any of the events that they conduct and you will be getting that completely reimbursed from that 500 dollars so this is basically uh, the stipend that it has but stipend is just one part of this internship but the learning that you get from this experience is super amazing like you have you if you want to start your career in open source and tech so this is one of the most important one of the great opportunity right so now coming upon to your eligibility criteria when we talk about the eligibility for this particular internship so they have specifically made this internship to give a chance to the underrepresented groups in the society when we talk about underrepresented groups in the society so if you identify yourself as a female candidate as uh, somebody from lgbtq group somebody who is uh, who has faced any discrimination in the past or who has some like discrimination can be on any basis like if you have discriminate uh, if you have faced discrimination in the field of tech industry like you have been deprived of certain opportunities like you have missed on missed on certain things due to financial crisis or anything like so if you feel that you are into this position and you are uh, eligible for this internship so definitely this is a chance for you to go ahead and apply majorly like mostly uh, women candidates are selected for this internship period and like all over the world they select around 50 people for this internship out of like uh, all the applications so after knowing about the eligibility criteria let's talk about its application procedure and what are some of the important things that you need to consider while writing an application for this program so basically the first round of application is uh, the last date for applying for this program is approaching soon it is 
February 22nd this year. So if you haven't already registered, go ahead and uh, just check out their website for all the details. Like when you talk about the application, so the initial process is like you will be giving your some basic details like your name, country name, your residential address, like some of the other transcripts if they're asking. This is some of the things that you're asking. And apart from that, you will be having four essay type questions. So these essay type questions are a very important deciding factor that will move your application ahead in the process. So like uh, if you talk about last time, so 3000 people applied for this internship and around 800 were selected on the basis of the essay type question. So essay type questions play a very important part. So when we talk about some of the important points in this essay type question, so uh, what are things you should need to focus upon in these in these essay type questions? That is something that is most important. So first and most important thing is you should uh, represent yourself as an underrepresented as as somebody who is from underrepresented group. Like uh, any discrimination that you have faced, anything like any uh, discrimination on the place of work, any discrimination on uh, the grounds of uh, tech industry on. Uh, like if you have been deprived of any certain scholarship, if you have been deprived of any certain internship opportunity, any job, if you have been discriminated in your uh, college, if you have been discriminated uh, while paying your fee, anything, right? So the grounds can be any, but it is how you present your application that makes the most out of it, right? So when you talk about some certain answers, like what should you write in those answers or how can you frame those answers better? So rather than just writing like uh, uh, simply like I have been discriminated on these, these these grounds so you should you need to give practical examples like you need to quote a particular incident that if you have been discriminated at so and so incident like you were going to get this particular scholarship but due to this and this reason you have not been able to if you were like looking forward for a job opportunity or an internship opportunity but you could not make it due to so and so so these are some of the things that will like make your application stand out from rest of the application then don't try to copy your answers from any internet source or anything like uh, definitely that is not going to help in any way so you should write your answers on your own take time write it once on a copy pen and like analyze your answer perfectly like whether it's grammatically correct whether you have written all the inputs that you had like anything can be added anything can be removed so first analyze then type on the answers onto your uh, application process right so it's not like you just type anything and that's done you need to give some time at least three to four to five hours you need to spend while writing these answers and then analyzing these further and further so that you can improve upon these answers so that is something that will bear the fruit that you are looking forward to right so it's very important like when you are writing these answers so you should focus upon your skill set like you have so and so skills also you represent yourself as a member of underrepresented community like the discrimination that you have faced quoting some incidents like uh, your achievements also you can highlight some of your achievements in tech like uh, you are uh, like if you have some uh, if you are a brilliant student or something like something you have achieved that you can show so basically whatsoever you have done till now you can present it in a very good format that makes your application stand out from the rest so let me give you a brief about what this program is all about like if you are selected uh, for this first round like what is the process going to be although I'll not go into much detail we'll have a separate video on that sometime soon but uh, just to give you a brief idea of what is going to happen and how you can uh, like uh, uh, prepare for it like if you are shortlisted for this application like there will be certain organization with some of the projects right it's the organizations I've already mentioned like Mozilla, OpenFi and JBoss so Fedora like lot of organizations so they'll uh, roll out certain projects along with that like you need to choose some of the project and start contributing in those projects you will be assigned your mentors and these mentors will only be the deciding factor like they'll only select whether you are perfect candidate for this internship or not and after that you, your selection will be made based upon your contributions in those projects so so when we talk about the skills that you require for this particular internship so it can be any skills like they have projects in all the domains like if you are good at c plus plus c python django like any framework, any language. So there are a lot of uh, frameworks or languages or technologies listed upon their website. You can go through that. Apart from that, if you're very new, but the most important thing is you should give it a try. If you, if you, even if you feel that you're not well uh, eligible of, or like if you're not well uh, acquainted with the technologies, then also you can apply for this. Just give it a try. If not this year, next year you can apply, right? 
so go ahead and apply for this internship like now i believe that most of the important details i have uh, given regarding this internship like next we'll uh, go through quickly go through the, their uh, website and we'll see some of the other important details that i might have missed out so do check out this video till the end so that you can get a complete analysis of this outreach internship and do apply for the same before moving ahead, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video that is Unacademy. They have started up with this new subscription known as Career as a Software Developer where you can get a lot of amazing weekly shows that uh, will help you gain good placement in top product based companies. These shows revolve around getting placement in top product based companies. You will be getting uh, job updates of different companies, beating the odds to get a good placement, live problem solving along with that uh, over weekend project. So everything you can get at uh, the subscription cost of 999 if you will use my code HD, you can get it at 899 so if you wish to purchase please go ahead and check out all the details then only purchase and there is one show that is known as beating the odds that is conducted every Wednesday at 10 pm where we discuss about different things like startups and MNCs and various other things so if you wish to go ahead you can check out this amazing subscription now let's move ahead with the video let's have an out overview of uh, the official website of outreach so when you see this open this main page i've given the link in the description below for this uh, main page so you can see that the total amount that is paid is six thousand us dollars as an internship stipend for three months like you should be available from may 24 to august 24 if you are uh, wishing to uh, intern at uh, outreachy and the application date is february 22nd at 4 pm utc so do check out this utc to ist conversion so so as you, like you don't miss out the last date so uh, the cohorts that they run each year are from May to August and December to March. But for Indian students, the only May to August uh, batch is available. When you talk about some of the important things like 92% uh, women have been selected, 4% transgender, 64% people of color, 12% people from historically disadvantaged class. So these are some of the previous data that people have been selected for this particular internship. So you need to apply for this May to August batch, the initial applications for which will be uh, there for... Uh, 22nd february apart from that some other important things if we talk about like uh, they have given certain schedule of their outreach internships when are they uh, going to have and when are they going to start next uh, some of the other important things like uh, the organizations or the sponsors you can see like these are probably the organization from which you can get the projects in this open source program so next when we talk about uh, some of the other important details like application guide they have also a complete application guide on to so like whatsoever doubts you have regarding the internship you can go through it once again and you can get to know like each and everything the eligibility like um, for eligibility you can see like i have already mentioned about some of the things you should not be a part of G gsoc or you should not be a previous intern at outreachy like you need to you need to be uh, devote 40 hours per week for this internship and uh, you can also apply if you are not a student if you are full time but you have to leave your full time job if you want to apply for this this is basically another hemisphere like people of india can apply only in the may to august round they can't apply in the winter uh, <coughs> internship at outreachy other things like project skills like that is that is something separate like that you can check out on your own like which whichever certain skills you have or whichever certain skills like projects that you want to choose upon these are some of the other important details like you can go through this once like one of the modern thing is the essay questions like uh, you should be a part of underrepresented groups as i've already mentioned so you can be discriminated on these bases age body size caste disabilities ethnicity nationality personal appearance so these are some of the other things some of the tips they have also given for writing your essays and uh, i have also mentioned some of the important tips from a certain previous year in turn so go ahead and check out their website completely so that you can get a an overview of what this application is all about and how you can apply for it in a better way so do apply for it if you're looking forward to a career at uh, if you're looking forward to uh, such an amazing experience at outreachy I hope this opportunity will also add a star to your profile if you are selected for this internship and like for more in such amazing internships and more upcoming content ahead do like share and subscribe this channel and also share it with your family members with your groups with your uh, friends with your college whatsapp group everywhere so good luck thank you bye bye